those of you who don't know me, I'm Hannah, as Heidi just said. And so I am Olivia's sister and also her best friend of 22 years. And so, I'll have to start crying now. <laughs> okay, I'm staying on track. So, um, <laughs> we've been best friends except for the time in the delivery room when she cared more about her looking sick candy than she did me. But I will forgive her for that and move on. <laughs> and so first of all, I want to go through some incredible traits of her. <laughs> She's an incredible travel buddy. We've lived in five countries together, one of those times being completely on our own, just the two of us. And we've also traveled multiple times one-on-one. -on -one. And, well, before I get too far into her good traits, I want to warn you. She does have a, a bad trait, and that is, <laughs> That is that she's forgetful. <laughs> so this can be a very good trait when it comes to arguments and things like that. The next day, she can totally forget you even had an argument, and it's, it's gone. It's she's forgiven. She's she's forgotten. And but this this can be a bad trait when it comes to parking brakes. <laughs> so <laughs> one time we were traveling together, and we were in Iceland, and before we went to Iceland. We had done a bit of research, and we found out that the food there is very expensive. But the hot dogs are cheap and tasty. So we thought, okay, let's go to a gas station and get one of these hot dogs. So <laughs> we, we go to this gas station, and Liv goes in to get the hot dog. I'm sitting in the car, and suddenly things start moving. And I am in the car rolling backwards into the middle of the parking lot, going towards the street. And I'm like, oh no, this ain't happening. So I jump out of the car and I think, well, what did I just do? I don't know how that's going to help. And <laughs> my phone and my coat go flying to the pavement ground. And I'm thinking, well, I guess I'm going to try to hold the car. I don't know what else to do. I don't know if that's even possible. And so, but sure enough, it's actually pretty easy to hold the car, so just tips and tricks. So <laughs> I'm there holding the car. I'm in the middle of the, the parking lot in Iceland at 9 p.m. at night. It's dark, cars are coming in and out. As I was coming out of the parking space, there was a, an Icelandic woman coming into the parking space next to me. And so she gets out of the car, runs over to me, and she says, Do you need help? And I say, Yes. <laughs> and then she says, well, can I get someone? And I'm like, yes, she's inside. Very curly hair. So thankfully, Liv is very identifiable. <laughs> so she goes inside, and she says, your friend, your friend needs help. And Liv says, no, she's fine. <laughs> And so, <laughs> as she's coming to the car, there's this other truck coming in, about to take our parking space, and about to run over my phone. So I'm like, no, no, please stop. And then thankfully, I missed my phone. But it did take our parking spot, but we had cheap hot dogs and no parking spot. So it, it all worked out for <laughs> me. But as I said, this forgetfulness is very good when it comes to arguments. And I, I know you won't believe this, since we have been sisters for 22 years, but Liv and I, the arguments we have had, I could probably count on one or, both, or maybe both hands. We've had very few arguments overall. But one of the, the worst arguments, I will tell you a little something about, is over the game of goat fish. And I know you're thinking, hmm, this was probably when you were eight years old, 
No, no, no. This was when I was 18 and Will was 23. <laughs> and we were traveling together. I had gone over to visit her in Oxford. And by this point in the trip, it had been three weeks, just the two of us, one on one, eating together, sleeping in the same room, traveling together. And so we had a little bit of cabin fever. We're playing go fish. And <laughs> she, she had forgotten her rule about picking the cards up after each round, right? And so then when she realized it, she said, well, can I do that? Can I pick up all the cards I missed? And I said, no, you can't. You didn't know the rule. It's too bad for you. I'm on the side of justice. And then <laughs> Lynn's like, no, no, have mercy. And <laughs> so but this, this is one of the wonderful traits of Liz, is that she's always on the side of mercy. And this is why it is so incredible to be her sister is because she is so incredibly merciful and kind all the time. And the last memory I want to share is one of my absolute favorites about Liz and I. And I don't know if you even know this memory, but it was from when we were younger. And I was four years old and she was nine. And we were playing together and there was this other nine-year-old friend that she had who was playing with us. And the friend said, oh, I don't want to play with Hannah, too. And Liv said, well, if we don't play with Hannah, too, then we don't play at all. <laughs> and as a nine-year-old, she's saying this. And Liv is just so incredibly loyal. And I think to 1 Corinthians 13, when it talks about different traits of love, that love is patient, it's kind, it keeps no record of wrongs, it protects, and these are all traits that Liv shows every single day to me and to everyone around her. And Liv's is so special to me. And Joshua is such an incredibly smart man to get the best girl behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I love you both, and I wish the very best for you.